Hello and welcome back to Neon White. As you can see right here, I was busy during the off-screen time and collected all of the presents slash gifts. I say I was busy, it didn't actually take that long. I think it was about like 45 minutes roughly to collect all of them. Uh, some of them were quite hidden. <laughs> some levels definitely took longer than others, but overall pretty fun. Let's go to Believer's Park first and give a gift to Neon Violets. Some Neon just told me I'm at a disadvantage here because I'm short. Can you believe that? Like, so what if I don't win? <sighs> Heaven is stupid, and so is God. You have a gift available. Here, have it. I have five gifts for her. You spend some time with Violet. Oh, what? Take a look at this. Yeah. Jesus, Violet, you can't just shove your damn knife in people's faces like that. Sorry, I got excited because I just finished polishing her. Isn't she looking so cute? Uh, uh, cute isn't exactly the word I would use. Deadly, maybe? Huh? What's the difference? When I think cute, I'm thinking like small animals and crap. Right, precious things that make your whole body tingle with excitement and love. Plushies, sharp knives, and spilled guts. Don't they all elicit the same excitement in your heart? Uh, definitely not. Guts and kittens make me feel two very, very different things. Maybe you're getting some wires crossed? I heard that type of thing is why some people like feet. White. This is nothing like feet. I think I would know. I consider myself an aficionado of all things adorable. Violet, I hate to break it to you, but most people do not think Gore is cute. <laughs> Tasteless swine, all of you. Hey, no need to get upset. There's nothing wrong with having a unique aesthetic preferences. Do you even think I'm cute, White? What? Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh... Jeez, Violet. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, if you keep getting flustered like this, you'll never get a GF. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that girl? <laughs> yep, the loot. If I just double tap F. Okay, that, that seems to be the best solution. Some neon just told me I'm not like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have more gifts for you. Shut up and take the gifts. Side quest. Log house in Sheol district. That's something I can break, no? Okay, I can jump up. Rigged game. Survive Violet's sadistic obstacle courses to complete her side quests. Okay. I assume there's no way to get up there. Oh, great. Okay. Ah, shit. <laughs> Where do I have to start? All the way at the start again. I should have saved the jump for a little bit later. Oh, I missed the platform. All right, this could be taking a while. To take this one early. And then I don't take this one early. I didn't expect, uh... Ah, hit it too low. Oh god. And this is the first of her levels. Great. Okay, this is all fine. We'll survive this. Oof, that was close. Alright, I already lost one heart. Good. Uh, all right. Uh, 
Ah, uh, okay. That somehow worked. I wasn't expecting it to work. I thought I was already too low. They're certainly quite sadistic. I can see that. Also quite long. Alright, there we go. Uh, wait, wait, no. Are you serious? Do I need to hit that? I thought I just had to run into it. God damn it. Uh, I missed the box. I thought it was in the corner. Oh god. Alright. While we did it once, we can do it again. Oh. Or we just jump into the spikes. problem. There we go. All right. No problem whatsoever. No! Went too far. You kidding me? I don't need to be so quick either. There's no reward for being fast on this. There you go. Alright. Okay. Now jump off here. Don't miss that. Okay. Right. There we go. Okay. Liquid insight. And there'll be more dialogue, more side quest, more dialogue. Give her another gift. You spend some time with Violet. <laughs> I'm gonna die of boredom in this stupid place. Quick, White, do something funny. Uh, what am I, you freaking clown? I have to do everything myself around here. Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's pull a little prank on that believer over there. Do you have a death wish or something? I've still got some leftover groove from this morning that I could toss his way. He'll have no idea what hit him. Yes, you freaking will. There's nowhere to hide here. Not to worry, I've got a plan. As soon as I throw this, we're going to look away and pretend like nothing happened. That is the worst plan I've ever heard. We'll definitely die. Ali, you Violet! No! Ah. Uh. Yes, got him. Now hurry, look away. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to... You dare. Did you do this to me? Ah. Crap, he spotted us. W what? Me? You're coming with me. Wait, no, I didn't do anything. Oh, that neon standing in front of us took the blame. <laughs> now that's rich. <laughs> you're laughing. We inadvertently sent some neon to his grave and you're laughing. It's fine, he's already dead, remember? Besides, with luck that bad, he probably wouldn't have survived long anyway. Come on, you gotta admit it was hilarious. Yeah, I guess it was pretty funny. <laughs> Stick with me and I'll always show you a good time. You're a bad influence, you know that? A bad influence, we'll give more gifts to. Gift number four. Another side quest.
Let's see what we'll encounter in this one. Choker, District Sheol. What if I just go around like here? I might, yeah, I'm just gonna die, okay. That's fine. Could have expected that, could have also expected that. All right. Stomp Soul Card. This Soul Card fires like a submachine gun. Stomp on the ground to create a large blast that destroys most demons and breakable objects. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> right. I don't actually fully know how I'm gonna get past there, though. This one doesn't matter. I can just jump into the sky. Or, you know, the... Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, this one could take a while. Okay. Can I just get like... Ah, oh, okay, I forget. I always forget with uh, Godspeed that it doesn't actually shoot you in the direction that you're looking it just shoots you straight forward which is slightly annoying okay so just okay definitely not just going through it so i suppose i need to go past it i'm dying yeah Okay, it's still... Uh, what? How do I get through that, then? I'm not quite sure I understand. Oh, too early. Ah... Uh. So how do I get past there? I guess? No, that still boosts me up too high. I'm confused. Oh, I need to shoot it. I'm an idiot. I forget that weapons can shoot and are able to kill demons. To be fair to myself, I haven't played in like two days. And that's the first enemy I actually have to kill. I'm stupid. At least that's already the ending, so it's not super difficult to get there again. It's quite a bit shorter than the first one. Right. <sighs> Almost killed myself with that. There we go. Okay. That was pretty fast as well. 26.45. I mean, pretty fast in that specific run. Not overall. Definitely not overall. And our last present for her. What? It does continue past the memory as well, so there'll be multiple memories. I suppose. Oh, wait, look. There's a love compatibility test in the latest issue of M Mikey Weekly. So? Don't you want to know how love compatible we are? N no. But even if I did, isn't that something you determine yourself through quality time and conversation? Yeah, but this way is so much more fun. Come on, let's take it. Fine, but 
only because I want to see how stupid it is. First question. Do you prefer summer or winter? What the heck does that have to do with anything? Just answer it. I don't know. Neither. Wait! You have to pick one. But they both suck. One's too hot, the other's too cold. Will you just answer the freaking question already? Fine. Winter, I guess. Winter? Seriously? What? I prefer freezing my ass off to accumulating ass sweat. Is there a problem with that? No, no, nothing at all. Just that you're wrong? Anyway, next question. Chicken or fish? What is this, a wedding? Oh my god! Alright, and the results are in. We are dun 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 totally not compatible. What? The quiz have spoken. Our love is doomed to fail. Too bad. That's a bunch of crap. Who the hell made this quiz anyway? Aww. Why so angry, White? I'm not angry. I just don't think it's fair to judge compatibility by preference and stupid crap like seasons. It's okay, White. So far, none of the other Neons have been compatible with me either. Wanna read your horoscopes next? No. What are the global neon rankings? Ah, I see, I see. Wait, what does total time? Total time for what? Is that nine minutes 42? Ah, oh, I see, that's like taking... No, I don't know what it's taking. <laughs> I'm not sure. We'll find out eventually, maybe. All right, who do we go to next? Go to the neon bar. There's a lot of people there. Let's talk to Raz. Tough mission? How about a glass of refreshing water? On the rocks. You have a gift of the wall. Here you go. I have two for him. And there's question marks. Please give me something fun. You spend some time with Raz. White, so glad to see you at the neon bar. What's your story? I don't mean to disappoint, bartender, but your guess is as good as mine. I've got amnesia. Amnesia, huh? That's a first. Very interesting. What about you? What's your deal? Whoa! Did I say something wrong? No, not at all. In all my years running this bar, no one's ever asked me to talk about myself. Hmm. Seems kind of rude. I really don't mind. Neons always have such interesting things to say. I guess you could call me a kind of fanboy. A fanboy? I'm here to help. That's sort of why I opened this bar. I wanted to help all the Neons that were hurting here. There's a pretty big cultural gap between mortals and angels, so I wasn't very good at it first. But throughout the years, I've met Neons from all over, and they've taught me so much about their interests and philosophies. I like to think the more I learn, the more helpful I've become. <laughs> That's pretty noble of you. Nothing like those damn believers. I sense hostility. Tell me about that. What do you mean? You've seen them. Bunch of self-righteous assholes talking down to us at their sermons. Mm -hmm. And how does that make you feel? Huh? Is that a canned response? Is this the combination of your years of experience speaking with Neons? A question like that? Uh, it makes me feel very bad. Alright. And one more. Tough mission? This is the next, another dialogue. Mm. I've been trying to come up with new specials today, but I don't have a mortal palette, so it's kind of tough. I saw an angel scarfing down some mac and cheese on my walk over here, so I doubt you're that far off. I could never get my hands on a delicacy like that for my drinks. Probably for the best. I doubt anyone here would want to drink mac and cheese water. See, this is why I need a Neon's palette for reference. Hey. Maybe you could be my taste tester. Uh, I don't know, Raz. I'm kind of trying not to die. I guarantee you won't. All of my ingredients are hand-sourced by yours truly. Off whatever I find on my morning strolls. That doesn't comfort me in the slightest. Come on. It won't take very long to help. Here, try this one. What's in it? I can't tell you. A proper taste tester only relies on their sense of taste to avoid personal biases. 
Sounds like something you made up, but whatever. Bottoms up. What the hell? That this tastes like dirt. It's actually muddled grass. Yeah, okay, well, you can't serve this here. Mm. What about this one? Ugh, this one tastes like dirt too. <laughs> actually. Well, that makes sense. That one actually was dirt. Raz! This is exactly why I need you here. Okay, last one, promise. Okay, th that is just straight up a bug floating around in there. I can already tell you that's gonna be a no from me. Darn it. Guess my instincts were worse than I thought. Might as well toss the rest of the stuff I foraged. Hey, wait a minute, I recognize that plant. Is that mint? This? Raz, you can literally just throw some of that in a glass and call it a day. Really? Definitely. Mint is sure to class up your water game. That's great news. My walks are lousy with this plant. Phew, thanks for helping me out, White. There's gotta be some way I could repay you. Yeah. Actually, don't make me do this again. <laughs> I wanna wait like a couple seconds just to see if it would go away if I don't press F. It's gotta go away eventually, right? What if I press Enter or Space or Escape? Okay, it did go away eventually. It takes too long though, I'll just double tap F. All right, neon yellow. Bro, why didn't you tell me my fly was down at the sermon? What if God saw my underwear? Right, here have this gift. Four gifts for him. Ugh. You good? Not really. I'm getting so sick of eating the sludge the believers feed us. Huh. I always thought it was pretty good. But if you're looking for variety, I know a primo place. You do? Sure. It's right behind you, actually. Yellow, that's a trash can. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. The believers throw perfectly good food away all the time. Yeah, among other gross things. Come on. It's not so bad. Let's see what this can has in store. If we're lucky, we might even hit the jackpot. What's the jackpot? A gently used pizza. Ugh. Trust me, bro. I've had struggle meals in life way worse than what you'll find in the trash here. Aha, uh -huh. check it. A half-eaten bag of chips. This stuff is fire too, and not a maggot in sight. You sure about this? Do trust me. Watch, I'll even take the first bite to prove it's good stuff. Mm. Delicious. My tongue is in ecstasy. Your turn, White. Here goes nothing. Hey, this is actually pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. Hmm? My mouth fit. Ah, feels like it's burning. Really? They're just hot Tito's. I'd say they've got a mild kick at best. I can't... I can't... Oh, handle any... Spicy food. Oh, yeah. That's right. I totally forgot that spicy food makes you... Crap. <laughs> Side quest time. Bro, why? What? And we get to... We'll get to the... Yeah, we'll get to one more side quest and then we'll need two more until we find the memory. Balloon Mountain Shell. Okay, I guess we just hop up there. Oops, I hopped past. Should start further down. There we go. And float down to the other balloon. Uh, how do I get through there? Uh, do I need to jump over that? Maybe. Hmm. All right.
I'll try that then. Ah, not up, but around. Please tell me I didn't need to kill that first one. Uh, ah, over there. Okay, doesn't seem like it did. Yeah, fine. 42 exactly. Dude, open the door. Hurry. Huh? Yellow? What's going on? <sighs> oh, lucky. Your room is sick. Mine just has scary little cavemen on the walls. Why are you here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. It's kind of a funny story. I was getting my mission from Mikey when I saw this little envelope on his desk. So I grabbed it. What? Why would you steal from Mikey? It's sealed with a heart sticker, bro. You know what that means. No, I really don't. Heart equals sexy. I bet you a million dollars is proof of a steamy romance between him and Gabby. I... Were you always this morally bankrupt? Oh, I've had this theory about their relationship for years. I've just got a fifth sense about these kind of things. And I wanted you to be there the moment I uncovered the truth. Do angels even fall in love? Is that how new angels are born? Stay with me, White. I'm peeling off the sticker. Well, alright. I guess you've got me curious now, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. Whoa, is this... an affair? What the hell are you talking about? These are just artistic photos of cigars. The plot thickens. Damn it. Yellow, go give these back to Mikey. Oh, <laughs> okay. You gotta admit it got your blood pumping, though. It didn't get out of my room. Where do angel babies come from? Hmm. And we have one more for him. Why did you? Which means one more side quest. Climbing gym in Sheol. Uh, okay, there's a lot. Uh, right, we'll just take... I mean, we'll take a bunch of elevates. And then I guess we'll take Purify. How many do I need? I'll just take... I don't remember how many I can take with me. I think it was free, yeah. So let's go and see what we need. Um... Uh, oh, I can't... I see. I can't actually use the cards. Huh. I didn't need to spend so much time trying to select them then. Alright. Okay, we'll use those balloons just to propel us. I almost fell off there. Alright. That's fairly straightforward. 136. Not even sure I needed to take anything with me, to be honest. Alright, then let's talk to Mia Red. 
Don't worry, I'm still thinking about that favor. So many things I could make you do for me. It's too hard to pick just one. Have a gift. Got five for her too. Come on, White. If you can cut through demons, you can cut through this awkward tension. So, uh... I've been thinking about what you said when we first met. Wait, no, not this. You're gonna scare her off. Now, I don't know if you were joking or not. Don't even say it, dude. But I have to ask. You want to know if we were a thing in the past? Here's the deal. I'll tell you. If you can make me laugh. Seriously? Watching you sweat figuring out how to talk to me is one of my few joys in this place. I won't let go of it for free. No, I'm just surprised you're willing to let it go for something as cheap as jokes. I'll have your sides splitting in an instant. Alright, big boy. You've got one shot. I'm waiting. Okay. Hold up. Uh, how did it go again? Oh yeah. Okay, you're gonna love this one. <clears throat> did you hear about the pair of thieves who stole a calendar? They each got six months. <laughs> ah, jeez. Resorting to humor from a children's book of jokes is the lowest of low white. Doesn't matter. Still got you laughing. You better hold up your end of the bargain. Sorry. No can do. Ironic laughter is only worth half price. You don't play fair, Red. I don't, but I hope you'll keep playing regardless. I will. Don't worry. So many. Right, let's see what her side quests are all about. Elevate Traversal 1. Solitary Grace. Master each soul card's discard ability to complete red side quests. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Where do we need to go? Yeah, here. Wait. It can't be here because that's way too far away. <laughs> that's not doable. Right. Here, that's the way. Is it? That's also too far away. What about over there? Hmm. Uh, okay, it still works. Wait, there's something over there too. That's interesting. I can't get up there. Right, okay. I have an idea. I'm just gonna try to get over there then. And we'll see where this takes us. I needed all of them. Unfortunate. Okay, that was fairly easy. Once I figured out where I had to go. I'd like to know if by like super smooth maneuvering you could save certain cards. I mean, not that you're going to use them, but maybe there are some strategies where if you can really hit it pixel perfect, you can save a card and take a different route that's slightly quicker. That would be fun. Don't worry. I'm still so. More dialogue. Hey, White. 
Look at me for a second. Do I have food stuck in my face again? No. Nothing like that. I'm just taking a good look at your mask. Oh yeah, it's pretty badass, isn't it? You're content with it? I mean, I saw some Neon with a mask that was literally just a heap of gross tentacles, so I'd say I lucked out. Uh, do you not like it or something? I wouldn't say I dislike it. I just don't know if it's very becoming. What? Becoming? It's just that our masks are fairly representative of our characters. Think about it. Violet is cute and fast like a bunny. Yellow is a playful goat. And you're a sly fox. Uh, Kitsuna. But yes, you're getting the idea. But... When it comes to you... Well, I just think that something else would have suited you better. Right, like a wolf. No, wait, a werewolf. I was thinking more like a puppy. Seriously? A puppy? It makes perfect sense to me. Are you kidding me? It makes zero sense. I'm a killing machine, not some cute little creature wagging my tail for attention and helplessly following mommy around. All right. Why, whatever you say. I'm a werewolf. Red. Well, I'm heading out. Wait, no, come back. You have to say it. Tell me I'm a werewolf. Don't worry. So... Alright. More side quests. Which card are we mastering next? Elevate Traversal 2. Still Elevation. Okay. Ah, right. So about that. Okay, that was stupid. Shoot first, then jump. Ah, uh, that was dumb. That's the way to do it. It's not the way to do it. At all. Uh, okay. How else does it work, then? No, that's not it either. Where? Oh, do I need to go through there? Maybe. Good. There we go. Perfect. Have another one. I think I've got one more. Yep. Yeah. Red always has a way of catching me slipping up. But I really think I nailed it back there. I could tell she was hanging on to every word I said. Honestly, I'm so charming it scares me. Ew. These clothes are getting a little ripe though. Better wash them before I embarrass myself. Off with all of you. Hey, White. I forgot there was something I wanted to ask you. Uh, j just a second. W wait, no. <laughs> huh. Your room is not what I expected. Do you mind? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, jeez, you're naked, White. Get out! Right, sorry. God damn it.
All right. So there's uh, these gifts. I have one more for Mikey. Well, at least one. Mikey's Dropbox. Looking to drop something off of Mikey? Uh, like what? A gift, perhaps. Are you telling me to bribe Mikey? Of course not. I'm just saying he is easily manipulated. Got it. Well, let's go for manipulation then. I don't actually remember what his voice is like. So, uh... Heaven, huh? What about it? Where I come from, there's a lot of conjecture about this place. Whether it exists, what it looks like, what it means to get in there. And now you've got all the answers. Mm. Not quite. I have some other burning questions. For example, is it true that rain is God's piss? What the hell? You come into my office and you say this filth to me. Answer the question. No! Of course not. Ooh, that's a relief. What the hell are they teaching you weirdos down there? Never mind. Next question. Does an angel really get their wings every time a bell rings? I, I actually don't know. Pass. Is Bigfoot real? What? Big what? Loch Ness Monster? El Chupacabra? Uh, and what about aliens? Okay, wise guy. That's enough out of you. I'm too damn old to be interrogated like this. Any future questions I answer are going to cost you a whole case of cigars. That's fine. I'm going to get my hands on one of those cases. And when I do, I'm asking you if the earth is flat. I do have one more, don't I? Mikey. Looking to drop something off. Yes. All right, one more dialogue, and then it's question marks again. Same as Raz. Oi. Ah, yeesh, I'm exhausted. How much longer till I can clock out? Oh, got some pressing evening plans. Saucer of milk, bowl of yarn. I told you already, I ain't no cat. What do you like to do at home, then? Eh. I don't know. Nothing too glamorous. Maybe plop myself down on a couch with a nice fat stogie and watch my programs. Your programs? Sure. Anything featuring the mob is a win for me. Really? The mob? The power struggles, the shootouts, the spaghetti. What can I say? It speaks to me. Huh. Surprised I don't see you out in the fray alongside us Neans then. You'd probably really appreciate the feeling of cold steel between your paws. Ha! <laughs> no chance in hell, kid. I appreciate the thrill of a good story. I'm not at all interested in getting my hands dirty. Why not? It's kind of like sports spectating, you know? You don't play the game, you just yell at all the guys on the TV when they start sucking. I don't really understand that either. I mean, where's the fun in watching other people hogging all the action? If I like something, then I'm going to throw myself into it all the way. Yeah? Well, that's the difference between you and me. You're going to be obnoxious for all eternity. And you're gonna sit on your ass. That's right, and don't you forget it. <laughs> Alright then, let's collect our next you're assignment. Back. I am. Don't act so happy to see me. Let's see here. Your next mission requires this neon rank. Well, look at that. Your neon rank is sufficient to move on to a new assignment. You've earned yourself a heavenly delight ticket. How fun. Ooh. One moment while I check on Mr. Mikey's schedule. Go ahead and take a seat, sir. I'll call you when he's ready. If it's all the same to you, I'm just gonna walk in again. He will hate it very much, sir. I get the impression you don't actually care. <laughs> Not particularly. Cool. Thanks, Gabby. Mikey! What's up? <laughs> Bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Damn it, kid. Can't you see I'm in the middle of a smoke break? Yeah, so what? I've squared off with literal hell spawn. You think I'm scared of your little prop cigar? These ain't your mother's Marlboro, skinny. If I gave you one of these, you'd die. Try me, furball. I'm already dead. 
You want a mission or a cigar, wise guy? A bow. Oh, uh, <laughs> mission. Please. All right, let's check your standings. Huh. For such an obnoxious little turd, your rank is surprisingly high. And what's the point if I'm still lagging behind green? No need to beat yourself up, kid. Your file says you're a first-time participant. You got chutzpah. I bet by your sixth or seventh attempt, you'll have worked your way up there. No, I can't accept that. If I don't settle this now, then... 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 What? I... I don't know. I just... Can't you just assign me something more challenging? Something that'll boost my score? Well, uh, if you insist... There's an infestation of particularly powerful demons in Lower Heaven. We call them Guardians on account of it. it sounds cool. You don't want to mess with these troops. If they spot you, they'll blast you with lasers. You gotta kill them quick or take cover. Doesn't sound too difficult. Don't get cocky, kid. We've lost a lot of neons to Guardians. Don't worry, Mikey. You can guarantee I'll be back in your office first thing tomorrow to annoy you. But who says I'm worried? <laughs> All right, let's first collect our uh, ticket, though. Welcome to the Heavenly Delights kiosk. Would you like to redeem a ticket? You have this many. Yep, give it here. Uh, okay. Here's my ticket. Splendid. One moment, please. Well, if it isn't Neon White again. I'm sure you are beside yourself in anticipation of your next heavenly delight. It better be good this time. Every delight of heaven is overflowing with joy beyond human comprehension, including this one. You are allowed to pick one movie from our remarkably curated library for a viewing at our very own Heaven Cinema Dome. This library sucks. Why are there so many freaking animated musicals? Hmm? Oh wait, this one's a classic. <laughs> Damn it, kid, what are you doing here? Uh, this is the reward for top performers. This was supposed to be my reward for employee of the month. Uh, whatever, let's just enjoy the movie. It's not like we have to talk to each other. Boy. Fine. Wait, what is this? Where's the Don and all the shots of Sicily? What are you talking about? This isn't a mafia movie. Oh, what's this movie about then? A cool guy named Neo and his awakening to the truth. Oh, mm. what's the truth? You'll find out if you watch. Now shush. Okay, sorry. Uh... Who's that? That's Agent Smith. Oh. Wait, who's that? Uh... That's still Agent Smith. Oh. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. What did he just say? God damn it, Mikey. What? What, what did I do? 